Welcome to this video. Today, you'll learn the difference between even and even so. This is a question that a student has submitted and it's a great question, so I'm happy to answer it for you. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you feel confident speaking English in public so you can take your career and your life to the next level. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Let's talk about the difference between even and even so. Even is an adverb and you can think of it as unexpected, surprising, or unusual. For example, I could say, he didn't even say thank you. He didn't even say thank you. So notice, I could say, he didn't say thank you, and that's just a statement, he didn't say thank you. By adding even, I'm just letting the person know that I think this is surprising, or I think this is unusual, or I think this is unexpected. Because imagine the context is, I helped my friend all Saturday move. I woke up early and I spent the entire day helping my friend. And then at the end of the day, he didn't even say thank you. So in this case, we use it really just to add some emphasis, add some drama to the sentence, let the person know our feelings about it. But remember, grammatically, it's not required in the sentence. I could simply say, he didn't say thank you. And that's a grammatically correct sentence as well. Now that's more in a negative context, but we can use this in a more positive context as well. I could say, I'll even clean your car for you. So let's say my friend asked me to help him move on Saturday and I agree and I say, sure, I'd love to help you move. I'll even clean your car for you. So I'm offering to do something else in addition to the original request, but I'm letting him know that, you know, this might be surprising, this might be unusual, so I add even to it. But again, it's not required in the sentence. I could leave it out and say, I'll clean your car for you. Now, most of the time, because it's an adverb, it comes directly before the verb, as you saw in these two sentences. However, it is flexible and we can use it at different parts of the speech. So for example, I could say, even my grandma has Facebook. So let's say I'm talking to a younger person and they don't have Facebook and I'm surprised. And I can say, even my grandma has Facebook. So notice, here, even, it's not coming right before the verb, it's actually coming before the noun. That's because I wanna emphasize my grandma. That's the part of the sentence that I wanna add the drama to, to make it sound like it's surprising or unusual or just to emphasize that. So you can have some flexibility with even, but for now, you can simply practice it in front of the verb. Now let's talk about even so. Even so has a completely different meaning. You can think of it as the same as however or nevertheless. So it's used as a transition word and it's used with context. We have one idea and then we wanna use even so or however or nevertheless and then we have another idea and those two ideas are in contrast with each other in some way. So for example, I could say, I didn't get the promotion, but even so, I'm happy at my company. Okay, so notice here, I use but even so. It's very common to use but and even so together. So that's how I encourage you to use it. And notice I have one idea, which is a negative. I didn't get the promotion, but even so, that's my transition. Now I'm going to transition to a contrast. So if I start with a negative, then my next idea is going to be more of a positive. But even so, I'm happy with my company. So it's the same thing as however or nevertheless. 
So that's the difference between even and even so. And now it's your turn to practice. I want you to leave two examples, one with even and one with even so in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. And if you're a busy professional who's serious about improving your English speaking skills so you can take your career and your life to the next level, then I want you to go to my website, j4senglish.com. There, you'll find a free case study on how to feel confident speaking English in public so you can impress your boss and clients with your message in only 30 days. To get your free case study, simply click the button, enter your name and email, and you'll get instant access to the case study. And until next time, happy studying. Awesome job adding these to the, your vocabulary. They'll help you sound very natural and very advanced as well. So make sure you practice in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.